world, my name is Silver Draconis, and welcome to Fran Bow, a lovely point and click style adventure that is weird and quirky and trippy and very lovely. Actually, I've never played this game, but I have seen other people play it, and I really like it, and I've always wanted to play it. So here we are! And I figured after Botanicula finished, I wanted something weird and quirky to follow up with it, and I was like, why not Fran Bow? Rambo's cool. Rambo's fun. So we are just gonna get right into a new game, and I will disclaimer this. I guess that I, even though I have seen someone play this, it's been a long time, like a year. <laughs> so I don't remember a lot of the puzzles, and I probably won't be very good at them. And I don't quite remember how it all goes. I just know that I liked it and stuff. So. If I take a long time, it's not that I'm, like, faking it, cause, like, oh, yeah, oh, no, where do I go, uh, no, it's just cause I genuinely don't remember and I'm not good at games. <laughs> so, alright, now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. Yes, I know, it uses on a safe user. Thank you. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder. It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight! My best friend my only friend. We're having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We're having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's Mom! Screaming! want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Oh, fridge! God damn it. Oh no, midnight! Mr. Midnight! No, don't need me! Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. And three. Here we are. Three. Fran, how do you feel? Um, let's go a little bit more positive, I guess. Fine, I guess. I actually have to push the button A. I didn't know that. No? A. Right click, left click. Why is it not working? 
I can't click it. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Don't know what that was. Okay. Uh, fine, I guess. I'm just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everyone has within. Um, I want to find the killer. Wanna, wanna, why is it? Wow. It's being a little laggy. I don't know why. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. Um. Should I say all or nobody? Uh, another thing that I need to, I guess, dis disclaimerize. One, there is going to be, like, blood and gore. Like, a lot of blood and gore in this game. It's a very kind of dark, twisted game. And two, it's also very dialogue heavy. So if you don't like the type of game that is just, like, a lot of pointy, clicky, dialogue-y, puzzly, then this is probably not for you. But it is a really cool game. It's got a really cool story from what I remember. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I'll find or nobody... Mm, I don't know what to say. Just to... I'll find them. I'll find them. I'll find my cat and the killer. Again, it's... Okay. I'll find the killer and my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. Unlike my cat, which just jumped on my lap. Hello, cat. But now I have something for you, Fran. Um... I just keep pushing A. What is it? See the desk. There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. This was my mother's purse. Open it. There's something inside. Uh, open. A letter. Use. I can't use this. Oh, I gotta examine it. Okay. Yeah, it's also you can combine items and use them. Dearest friend, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. <laughs> subtle, he is not subtle at all. So I hope you always keep this purse and give it all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and grace. Examine objects, combine them, use them. Thank you, tutorial letter. She's worried about you. Uh... Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Uh, I'll just ask if I can leave. First time I haven't picked A. Holy crap. I'm trying not to be like too antagonistic and be like, Grr, grr, I, I want to leave. I don't belong here. So just play it cool. Play it cool. Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave. Before you do, it's time for your new medicine. What medicine? It's called Duotine, and it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Hello. Anything new today, Dr. Dan? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. I don't feel good. Ooh. Oh, lordy. Oh, no. Take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. Did not react well. But yeah, a lot of blood, a lot of gore. Beware, Fran Bow. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. 
love you. Chapter 1. My Sober Day. Ooh, I'm so excited! So cool. Hello! Wakey wakey, friend! Oh. I'm still here. Hideous place. I'll have to get out of here. Up. Oh. Alright, time to explore everything. Locked. Good reason to get curious. Oh, sweet, sweet melody. One more time. La la la. It does the same as before. Huh. And repeating. I should get the key for this. Yeah. I will get your nose. I will get it. You a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? I'm having a hard time laughing again. Oh, that's sad. Let's check out my case. Blah blah blah. Name Frambo Dagenhart. Age 10. Man, I'm only 10 years old. Gender female. History. The patient was found near the Oswald of Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family. Tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications, and all have been cancelled due to side effects. Alright, let's look at these papers. Red and Tiny, you are hiding from me. I hate the monster. I tried to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me the medicine would show, show me where he is. I don't know why they crossed out that show. I guess they didn't like how it looked. Why the cross? Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Alright then. Uh, let's touch the curtain. Ooh, I broke it. Holy moly, something fell! A handy hook! I'll save it to play pirate later. Okay. Oh, I guess I broke the curtains. Now I can look outside! Tower Defense, we have you for a crazy person called Fran. Or is it Defense Tower? Hmm, I guess it's my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Okay. Boink. Uh, let's go left. Why, hello. I'm just gonna look around quick. My legs are just fine. Um, I'm not disabled. Alright. Empty bottle, empty glasses. Nothing useful. Towels? Towels? I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of this. Alright. I'll look out the window. I can't see through this one. What about this one? Hello, playground. Ah, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground isn't a good escape route. Uh, I like the bunny swing thingy. It makes me dizzy. Oop. Uh, hello. Can I talk to you? Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe? So many days. Oh no, so many days. I should find Kitty. Your cat is probably dead, girl. Now leave. I'm working. Something happened. Oh, I forgot. Something happened. See? You are nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Okay. Ah. Uh, I guess I'll just follow her then. Hello. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? I have s no, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. Alright. Yes, leave. Leave now. Aha! Now we can go snoop her desk. Hello. Uh, book. 
Violent trauma can have great impact on children, totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe deficits in some abilities such as trusting people near, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to sim several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world, this can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing of the brain. Frontal lobe, that's this one. Mortar cortex. Sensory lobe. Occipital lobe. And temporal lobe, and this one's the per 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 it, it's a part of your brain that's squidgy. Can I turn the page? Let me see. Traumas. Hmm. Trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. <laughs> that brain looks like a turtle. I mean, I guess. Okay, what does this letter say? Oh my god, your writing is horrendous. It's worse than mine. Gladys something Frambo Dufont. The patient has been sleeping. Can I like right click to? The nurse's handwriting is bad. I only understand three words: friends, sleeping, and duo team. I bet I can make it out then. Uh, the patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. She hasn't been social for three days now. Some kids have come around and ask about her and when she would come out and play. Okay. Hooray! I am the best! Civil Draconis! Master Bad Writing Hand Decipherer! Huh! And there's also Duotine and then 8H. That's gonna be important for something later, I assume. I don't remember what. Ew! Ew about it. It's coffee. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Okay then. I think this is where the medicine is, but it's locked. Oh god. Oh my goodness. That's just terrible. Why did the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, wait, let me go 8H. What does that mean? Pills are inside, I know what I have to crack the code. Use. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, letters of the alphabet. So then I would be nine. And then A, B, C, D would be four. And this one would be five. I'm a genius! The pills! Kitty told me these would help. Okay! We got some pills. I don't want to use them just yet. I kind of want to look around. Maybe I will. Yeah, I'll do it here. Cause why not? Let's pop some pills. Bonk. And blip. Welcome to Crazy Land. It was not me. And the clown's gone. That's lovely. Where did the clown go? Oh no, there's a dead rabbit. That's sad. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Bunny, wake up. Please, bunny, just wake up. Eh, that's still the same. Can I go down there? I can. Whoa. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Okay, then. Oh! Hello! Up. Was that real? Oh, dear Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Up you get. And now there's a fox. Oh no! Foxy Fox, don't cry! Ooh. Uh, I can't get in there yet because I don't have a key. There's a lady in the window. That's different than what was there before! Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please! Just go away, you weird creatures! 
Seems like you, most things have like three things to say. Yeah, there's there you are. Hello, I see you. All right, let's go look back in the nurses area, and then we'll stop being in psycho crazy. Ooh. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you all right? Hello? Huh? No, she's dead. Can I have that? I can't. Excuse me, lady nurse. This might be very useful. So now we have band-aids, a hook, and a stabby needle. I don't know what to do with any of those. Get out, creepy creature. What are you, huh? Tell me. You like to see me sad. You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? My mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looks sad. Ugh. Some dark shit in this game. Like I said, it's been a while since I've seen it, so I don't remember exactly every. Wow, there's nothing different in Crazy Land. Oh, except a hand. There's a handprint. There's a handprint. You guys see it? Try, right, yeah. But, of all the things we're seeing, a handprint is the least creepy thing. Alright, let's stop being in Crazy Psycho Land. Bloop! I love how the, immediately as you close the cap, the effects of the pills just stop. Because that's how real life works. Alright, so I think we've gotten everything in here except this. Wait, 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 wait. Can I pick the lock with the needle? No. Alright, fine. Is there anything in my bed? No? Okay. We'll come back. I gotta find something to open it. Oh, hello, person. I'm going to talk to you. Hello. Hello, Phil. Hello. How are you? Everybody says I'm sick. They are just stupid. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. Okay. There's a key inside? The key? Is there a key inside the office? I, I don't know if I should be reading the, the prompts here, because sometimes it's the same and sometimes it's not. I, I'm, I'm probably not going to do that, actually, anymore. Because otherwise I'm just repeating things or reading the wrong thing. So, okay. I saw a doctor with write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. Oh. Oh, hello! Go away. All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. And nobody will help you escape. Get away! Shoot! Shoot! Be gone! Leave me alone! I hate you! Yeesh. Come on, friend. Pull yourself together. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me! Okay. Well, that was creepy. I hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Can I get- Ooh, a secret box! Shh. Can I use it? Combine it with this? No, okay. Can I use it with this? Nope, I can't do that either. Okay, can I use the box? Oh, a key! There's a key in the box! Alright, well let's go back and use the key. Sorry to be stealing from you, dude, but I need this. Yes, yes, I got it! And there's something inside! What was inside? Oh, I gotta click on the drawer. Uh. Oh, there's a picture. Oh, there's Mom, Dad, and Aunt Grace. With me, and Mr. Midnight. Oh. Okay. Then... I don't know what to do. I assume I needed that for something. Oh, Wooden Mr. Horse, are you having a good time? 
Back and forth. Hello, little doll. I used to have a blue dress like yours. I can't play with you now. I'm on a very secret mission. Alright, let's look at his charts. Fillmore Bronstone, age 8. Gender male. History. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia not yet diagnosed. Treatment. Daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Deere. We have not achieved the patient's trust and he refuses to be questioned. Okay. Can I examine the chair? If I sit down, I will eventually get up, so what's the point? Okay, let's pop some pills. Ooh. To happiness, pointing towards the door. Hello, dear. No, oh, Hello? Oh no, your head! I'll try to put your head back on. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you, Mr. Deer. Oh, dear. Ah, oh, dear. Best pun. Best. Bill is playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad. Mad! Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. Bill is crying. Oh, poor Pill. Do you see? You killed the bird. Your mommy is not happy. Uncle will die. Eesh, there's some messed up shit going on here. He's, he's telling you things. Can you hear it? I missed the middle one. What is that black thing sitting next to you? Seems like... Well, okay. I, I know... You can see. Like, it seems like a re representation of, like, inner demons and stuff. Like, that one would probably be... I don't know, like, depression or paranoia or something. But... I'm... I'm withholding that kind of stuff. I, I don't want to get talking about deep stuff. I might, I might eventually, because this game touches on a lot of heavy subjects, but... Uh... Yeah, that, that's what it seems like. It's like inner demon-y stuff. Can I get out of here? No. No. There's another hole in the- oh, wait. Yeah, if, if you ask me, that seems like depression, but I am not an expert on the subject. We are out! Hello, window. A maze. The maze! We never get to play there. Whoa, tonight the fog is pretty thick. I wish I could get lost in there. Alright. Well, I think I'm gonna leave this first episode here then. We have escaped our room. And we are trying to get out of this insane asylum in order to find our kitty. And hopefully find out what happened to our parents. We'll probably meet a lot more of those black demons along the way. Either of others or maybe even ourselves. Who knows. But I'm very excited to play this game. Because it's really cool. And it's, it's cool coming back and actually playing it myself after having it been so long. Because I don't remember exactly what happens. So it's like rediscovering everything. It's really cool. So... I hope you guys enjoy this, because uh, it's it's really cool. It is also very creepy, and it has a really neat aesthetic and and art style and stuff. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know. If you didn't, let me know. If you got any tips or tricks or anything you want to see me do, comments down below, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!